we are one of the leading a uh, well diversified non banking financial services company in india we are calling well diversified because we have a range of products uh, in lending financing and wealth management solutions to a diversified set of customers so in lending uh, we cater to retail customers ultra retail customers where uh, they have to take loans as low as uh, 40000 50000 ticket size uh, we also cater to high net worth individuals and ultra high net worth indi individuals and uh, we also uh, uh, give loans to uh, the smes and the mid large corporates so we cater to retail and corporate segment so it's a complete set of products that we have uh, and we have uh, solutions uh, we have several lending products with us in retail and uh, corporate so we we are uh, we have customized solutions for personal finance uh, mortgage finance sme finance uh, in corporate finance with capital market group and uh, supply chain financing and so on okay so now today's session is going to be focused on the case study that we have a successful case study that aditya billa finance limited uh, has on the digital transformation uh, initiative that we started about an year and a half ago uh, and basically the main focus was uh, on the lending and the customer experience or the customer service team and the customer experiences that we have so when we talk about uh, digital transformation essentially what we are talking about uh, how an abfl has used our technology the people and the processes to essentially change uh, not only the business performance that we are looking at but also improve the customer experience uh, and uh, this all we had to target by uh, working and uh, working with the existing legacy systems which are available with us at then point of time and uh, use that and then you know with uh, uh, the power of apis that we are talking about and then digitize the whole lending process we also have uh, engaged our customers right from our acquisition till uh, loan servicing part of it uh, so that uh, they can get the experience end to end and uh, that has really helped us in having uh, the customer uh, experience has uh, improved a lot in the last one and a half years so when we are talking about lending domain uh, we started uh, like about uh, two years back but our lending systems were in place uh, uh, prior to that about five years or so when we started developing and uh, marketing new and new, uh, new products so if we talk about personal finance uh, we had a uh, loan origination system and loan management system with us that was developed uh, probably you know in in 2010 or 12 so we can imagine the kind of requirements that we had given so we were kind of living with the limitation of uh, the features that we could get from the legacy systems in terms of uh, modernizing that and over a period of time uh, we also realized that as we embarked on the digital journey and and the customer have started increasing uh, 15 to 20% quarter on quarter uh, there were limitations on the scalability of the platform the flat platform was not flexible to make changes and uh, although it was customized uh, as per the needs of how the products are sold uh, the non uniformity of the processes that we have across segments because we cater to retail we cater to corporate and the processes are Uh, different and there are deviations in terms of processes for uh, giving a loan so we had to customize uh, our loan management systems and uh, live with the constraints of that and that has led to uh, multiple touch points with the customer so uh, and uh, we also had uh, some inconsistency issues that uh, you know for retail we used to punch a loan in a system but for corporate customers we had to do a data entry in the loan management system to have an entry done there uh, we had a customer dedupe engine which was only linked with one of the systems and uh, that is the reason we had to kind of replicate the data entries across the system which has led to data inconsistencies and uh, Uh, and we can imagine the problems that comes after that in regulatory reporting and all of that and finally uh, the last and important thing was the customers uh, were not really i mean they were not getting the experience that uh, they should be getting in terms of uh, the tat uh, so the, there was a higher turnaround time uh, from lead to disbursement so 
these were all the problems that uh, we had uh, we were living with though our business was increasing we had a desperate need to transform so if you come to customer service domain um, there also with the increase in the customer service request uh, with the increase in the customers the number of customer service request increased uh, 15 to 20 percent quarter to quarter we had embarked on digital journey about two years back and uh, uh, we started selling digital loans with low ticket size and that has increased uh, a lot of customers on our side so which is a good thing to have but at the same time it was kind of putting uh, a load on the customer service team to cater to their service request and uh, that had an impact on agent productivity and efficiency uh, where and uh, you know uh, the problems the tag that was given to a customer was not actually uh, uh, you know it was difficult to meet the turnaround time and we had to satisfy our customers at the same time managing uh, the increase in the business uh, it had led to increase in the cost servicing cost uh, that customer service team uh, used to have and then finally our customers also were not uh, you know there were unsatisfied customers uh, that we had and we really had to solve that problem so what we did was uh, we had we had to uh, have a leap into uh, a next level in lending and customer service domain and uh, we had followed a kind of a, uh, an approach where we had to do a gap assessment of uh, what we currently have and uh, we have studied the as is processes and the as is stat that we have for each of the lending products we have conducted the time and motion analysis for all products at each uh, each and every stage. Uh, we had done the benchmarking with respect to what uh, you know the other companies uh, have a tat in terms of giving loans, and uh, we had to at least achieve that or uh, greater than that. And then uh, you know so we had to kind of finalize our target ecosystem and we had set out certain goals, which I'll run through in uh, in subsequent slides. Post that, we had done a solution fitment in terms of, you know, we still have to live with the legacy systems because we, we just can't change the way it works, uh, although our processes change. Uh, so it was a kind of a transformation where we need to tweak our processes as well. So the loan origination journey that uh, we have is completely transformed what it was, uh, you know, uh, earlier and now what it is. So, right, we had to change the processes. We had to identify the solutions that are available in the market who can actually meet our needs. And uh, we had conducted demos uh, of the partner solutions and uh, we have evaluated them and we had a certain checklist that we go through in terms of information security, in, in terms of cost, in terms of uh, uh, the case studies that customer has, the scalability, the performance report and all. And uh, so after doing all that, uh, we, we selected a few partners to work with us uh, and we had a very stringent timeline to meet. We ran sprints uh, and uh, we've done the implementation, we've done the load testing, we've done the VAPT. So we had to follow all of that to ensure that post we do the transformation, we end up, uh, you know, having uh, 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 meet or exceed our objectives. We had to ensure that the load that we are getting now and the load that we'll get in the next five years is uh, kind of taken care of from the technology platform that we're building. And we went live and i'm very happy to say that uh, you know the uh, uh, the load that we had uh, two years back it has been exponentially increasing and now our uh, lending systems and uh, the customer experience have uh, the parameters that we measure with are are kind of tremendously improved and now we the journey is still going on we are live and uh, we are we are doing a continuous improvement uh, and uh, we we have a roadmap in place so after doing the gap assessment you know the kind of uh, objectives that we had for lending was we need to have a best in class uh, onboarding platform for digital journey our tat used to be about 7 days to uh, give a loan which we had to reduce to at least uh, to 2 or 3 days a reduction of 4 days uh, in in terms of uh, uh, personal loan lending right so and there are various processes that are uh, there as a part of lending. So a sourcing is done by the DSAs and the uh, uh, channel partners and the regional managers. Then the credit uh, 
analyst actually looks through the data entry that uh, uh, DSS have done. So what we had done was during the onboarding, we had integrated with third party partner systems. And, uh, you know, I'll come to the solution later, but the point was that uh, we had to have an onboarding journey, a best in class. So we had tweaked our processes and we had explored all options of doing an automation by, uh, you know, pulling data from various partner systems, which will give us a single source of truth as well. And it will also reduce uh, the data punching while, uh, I mean, uh, reduce the time of punching while punching uh, uh, for the data entry that we do for uh, uh, applying for a loan. Then we had, uh, we had a, basically we had to have a 40% straight through processing was the least that we can uh, aim through, right? So we had to ensure that our processes are tweaked in such a way and digitization is done in such a way that the decisions are done. And uh, we have a 40% straight through processing for our small ticket high velocity loans where the need of the customer is to get the loan in few seconds or few minutes or few hours. And uh, we had to meet that kind of requirements. And uh, we had to meet that um, uh, along with the process that we had to follow, right? So uh, we had to have a credit check, fraud check, and doing all of that, complying to all the regulated requirements and the best process in uh, loan origination, we had to meet the TAT of, or we had to do the straight through processing up to 40% in the whole journey. We had, uh, so uh, we had to improve the TAT, we had to optimize the cost. Uh, we also have to have a scalability. It's it's no brainer that we need to have at least the scalability requirement for the, to meet for the next five years. Uh, and then, uh, end of the day you know we have to have our customer satisfied so that uh, you know the journey goes on in terms of uh, objectives for the customer service team uh, the customers are uh, the customers today that we have are in fintech world and uh, they are pampered with the experiences of amazon and uh, uh, flipkart so where the uh, on the go service fulfillment is kind of desired right and so the channels are very important. We used to have call centers, emails, and IVR. These are traditional channels, but uh, in, in this transformation journey, we had to kind of uh, think through and ensure that the experience that we give it to our customers uh, should be on WhatsApp and chatbot, where uh, these are the frequently uh, used channels where customer can communicate with us and can uh, can can get all his service requests satisfied on the channel. So that was one of the objective, uh, which should lead to a wow experience that uh, we are aiming at for the customers. Uh, at the same time, to meet the scale, uh, we also have to uh, improve the agent productivity so that as and when uh, as the business grows, uh, we still have to optimize on the cost of the service. Uh, and that can only happen when agent can productively work, you know, with the systems that he has. And uh, finally, you know, we have to reduce the turnaround time for the service requests that will flow in with increasing in the customer service base. So the main objective was uh, to have the customer satisfied and have real-time on-the-go service fulfillment. So this is the overall architecture that uh, we have uh, defined. It's a very high-level architecture. Uh, what we am, what I'm going to talk about is, uh, as I said earlier, it's a loan onboarding journey that we had to digitize. And during that process, we had to integrate with third-party partners like uh, Kerza and uh, where we can do a pan check, where we can do a KYC check with driving license, uh, with voter IDs. Uh, then we had to do a check for financial statement analysis that customer has. Uh, it used to be on Excel. Then uh, we had to do a check on obligations that customer has with uh, the respective bureaus, Sybil, Experian, and uh, you know, uh, and and then uh, we had to also integrate uh, with uh, the UNSCR credit check, uh, the fraud checks, and um, end of the day, you know, finally we have to uh, when we come to the end of the loan origination process, where FI and RCO team checks for the customer data, we still have to make applications available to them and a platform given to them. Uh, where they are working feet on the street. So we had to have a technology where they can actually do the check and, uh, you know, punch in the verification uh, that they do in an application directly using the platform. And uh, uh, we also have uh, uh, 
we have so the loan management system so there are several of them uh, for retail and corporate uh, we have to have an exposure track for every customer be it retail or a corporate if it's corporate then uh, you know your uh, your uh, your exposure is at the group level at the company level if it's retail your exposure at the individual level so we had to still integrate with the legacy applications that we have and uh, do a customer dedupe identify the customer uniquely and we had also built a policy rule engine uh, in house where we had to do a credit rating of the customer with the parameters that we have so all in all if you see right uh, there is going to be a integration and integration in terms of um, uh, uh, i'm sorry uh, there is going to be an integration with 75 plus uh, apis that we have and uh, we have we have kind of integrated with about 15 to 16 partner applications and uh, the legacy systems and uh, the the backbone of all that is uh, the wsa2 product that we had taken about two years back uh, and this product actually helps us in uh, doing the api life cycle management end to end this product has helped us in uh, you know passing through our information security guidelines it has uh, a set of OAuth 2 protocol, which is already there, the token-based mechanism for API access. Uh, it supports throttling and uh, uh, ensure that the DDoS attacks uh, are, are prevented right at the source. And uh, it also gives us good analytics. So essentially, all of this was possible only when we have a stable product like WSO2 in, in, the, in, in the ecosystem, which can help us to do an integration end to end from third party partners and uh, to the legacy applications that we have. And last but not the least, uh, we also had introduced uh, the new channels like WhatsApp and Chatbot, and we have web portal hosted um, uh, outside our domain. Uh, which had to integrate with our uh, legacy systems and uh, that was also facilitated using wso2 product and end of the day what we are looking at is uh, the five stars from the customers so uh, coming to uh, the business impact so i'm very happy to say that uh, we were able to achieve the goals that we had set out uh, we had uh, we had uh, done about 60 percent automation in filling up the fields by using third party apis that i spoke about and uh, about 500 odd fields in uh, in a total of 900 are kind of auto field uh, which has in the in the total journey that we have so in the sales journey, which is uh, very intimate with the customer and they work closely with the customer, about 50% of the data is auto-populated, giving them a good experience and uh, having, uh, you know, punching of a case done uh, right at the uh, customer place. Um, and we are also trying to integrate uh, with, you know, some more uh, uh, third-party systems in phase two uh, to add uh, more and more demographic information. And these numbers are going to increase uh, as we go on. So in the credit journey, uh, what we have done is we have automated uh, the credit rule and the policy engine that we have built. We have kind of set up rules out there and uh, we are 60% of the fields that credit team requires are kind of pre-filled. So they don't have to go through Excel and identify, you know, the, uh, the, uh, how the credit worthiness of the customer is, it's right in front of them. And one of the things that we have achieved in the loan origination was automating the credit assessment memo. So that has helped us to uh, improve the turnaround time uh, from seven days to about two to three days. Uh, and, and we are still looking at optimizing it further. Now, in terms of uh, operations journey, uh, which uh, which are the users which come at the end and then, then they manage the loan uh, thereafter. So they're basically about 75% of the uh, fields are automated. It has gone through the entire loan life cycle and, and the fields are auto-populated for them which has helped them in kind of uh, doing their work in a much faster time than they used to do earlier. So uh, with all these third party integrations and automations, uh, we have a single source of truth of data now. Uh, and uh, that has also helped us in uh, the regulatory reporting that we do to RBI. 
in terms of impact that we had on customer service team um, we had achieved the goal of at least giving them the top frequently used service request which are of the nature of uh, you know the loan details the borrower details the disbursement details uh, the reports and the repayment details for which our customer used to call call center or iv or send emails those are all available through whatsapp and chatbot and portal channels with them we have improved the quality of service uh, by giving uh, by uh, having a new technology platform at place we have optimized the cost with the increase in the scale and uh, we, we, we are able to optimize the cost more than 15% and uh, uh, we also have kind of achieved the higher productivity that uh, customer agent team has during the covid times definitely this transformation has helped us and uh, our frequently used service requests were live pre covid and uh, we have seen a tremendous increase during the covid times to serve uh, our customers using digital channels and it is not the end of the story it's only the beginning and uh, we are only going to increase the service requests now uh, from 20 to 50 by the end of this year and uh, all this is possible by having that transformation done in the last uh, so one of the goal was continuous improvement and that is what we are looking at improve the system uh, on and on and basically drive to uh, have an excellence achieved in giving a customer experience to the highest level thank you so much for attending my session any questions